This model plane review and unboxing is brought to you by the Mr. Rock Out Loud Aviation Channel, along with FlightSimGlobal.com, the world of FlightSim on one site. To visit the Mr. Rock Out Loud Aviation Channel, please click the right side of the screen. To visit the FlightSim Global YouTube channel, click the left side of the screen. Hello, welcome back to the channel or channels, whichever one you're watching it on. Uh, we have another un sorry. We have another unboxing here. Uh, this time it's a brand new release. I pre-ordered it. It's already sold out. Gemini Jets American Airlines MD80 in 1400. Brand new mold. Very anticipated model and good looking model too. Gemini Jets has included the new American logo on their box. A picture of the plane as normal. Just the same generic details on all sides of the box. And I took the plane out already just so we don't waste time. There's the info. And that's where the model would be. So the model itself. Let me just say, I'm glad I pre-ordered this thing. It is sold out completely of Gemini Jets' website, so I'm going to have a tough time finding this thing. It is that anticipated and wanted. So let me just take the camera off the tripod and I will get some close-ups of it. Who doesn't love a mad dog? This has quickly become one of my favorite models in my collection. Just because it's a classic plane with the old American livery. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the new one. It is a representation of the American MD-80 November 573 Alpha Alpha. That plane was line number 1864, construction number 53092. It's an MD-82. Its first flight was on was in April 1991, delivery date May 31st, 1991. And it's powered by two Pratt Whitney JT-8D 217C engines. Now that Gemini Jets has come out with this new mold, I expect a good amount of MD-80s to come out. Maybe they'll eventually make some American MD-80s with the black nose. They'll fit a bit nicer in my collection, just because it's more classic aircraft. Not sure if I'll be able to focus. Nope, won't be able to focus there. There we go. Just exceptional detail all over, given the size of the model. I barely want to touch it. I don't want to get fingerprints all over the polished metal. Gonna grab the engines and hope that's not a weak spot. The wheels are rubber and they do roll on this model. And I got the model on WaffleCollectibles.com for $25.95 U.S. currency with $6.95 sh shipping.
great looking model. I'm really happy with it. And maybe we'll start seeing Allegiant Airlines MD-80s. Maybe uh, some old Alaska MD-80s. Just all the classic MD-80s and other airlines that operate them. So, maybe we'll get some of those in the future. Who knows? But I just hope they're as good a quality as that. Thanks for watching.